All right, I like that fit. That looks really good to me. So I'll get the other backside cut done, and then I've got a layout for the stop dados on the front. Okay, got this uh, set up. Got my front on here, and I'm gonna mark out where this needs to go. That should be my length of cut right there. Okay, so it stops. I'm gonna make a mark on this where the dado stops. All right, I've decided that I'm gonna hand cut this because I just don't wanna screw it up. This is a tool I use about twice a year, but uh, in this situation, it's uh, invaluable, I would guess. I guess I'll put it that way, I, it's just one of those tools where you, you put on some music and you just keep working. And the one thing I wanted to point out here is you can see that I'm getting quite a bit of tear out here. But that's because I'm going against the grain. And the closer I get to my final depth, uh, the finer cut I'll take. Right now I'm taking pretty good bites here. Probably about a third of a turn. So you can see when I get down to apply running this direction, it cleans it right up. One more pass here and then we'll show you what it looks like full depth. There you go. I've got probably about another eighth of an inch to go yet, but I'll keep working on it and we'll come back when I get it done. We'll show you the dry fit here. All right, it took me probably 45 minutes to cut that out, but it looks good except for one thing. I'm just not quite deep enough, so I've got to take it just a little bit deeper. But I think that once I get it put together, or get the depth correct, uh, it's going to be a nice fit. I am really pleased with the way this worked out. I mean, it is, it is as square as can be. I mean, it's, granted, it's just a, a dry fit, but uh, it just self-squares in all three directions here. And that's just beautiful. And then I can show you the back. And this is just uh, about as gap free as I can get too. I mean once it gets clamped together that's going to be just perfect. So I'm going to clamp it. I'm going to leave these long. I'm going to clamp this together, clamp it up, uh, and then trim these off uh, with my setup I have on my table saw there and then just clean up the the edge the glue edge and then be able to go to work on the lid and the uh, and the inside 
So, so far so good. I like it. The liner fit is good. It's not perfect. It's just a little bit large. You can see I can kind of get a little puff out of it. But I think that once I get my stones in there, my grid work, uh, it's going to be just fine. I'm working on the dividers and uh, for the for my sharpening box there and uh, what I've done is cut a piece that's a little long um, and I'll trim it to length once I figure out what what that is going to be but what I did was I've cut them twice as wide as I needed then groove you know uh, put the dados in the grooves and then um, now I'll rip them to width and that way I know I have identical uh, pieces that they'll be mirror images of each other as long as I flip them the correct way. Um, so uh, that's just a little tip I guess. The one thing about doing it this way is you you get absolute per perfection that way but if you screw up you screw up uh, two pieces not just one. So just kind of a heads up that way. But. Okay, the box is completed. Uh, let me just show you the components I have here. And like I suspected when I cut off the uh, the long part of the box, or the lid I should say, and the ends here, it's, it slid much easier and there really wasn't much le uh, left to do to this other than just give it a light sanding. So this, this, um, this lid does slide much easier and it's a, it's a nice fit. Uh, and it was, of all the boxes I built, this was the easiest fitting lid because I built the bottom and the top at the same time, which I wasn't able to do with the other ones. So here's, you know, obviously the empty box. Then I've got my mat that I got cut to size here. That fits nice. Uh, then, uh, you know, I made this grid to hold everything in its place. And... Uh, goes this way. I gave this a uh, kind of a light sanding. It's a, it's a nice fit, slip fit. And if you ever wanted to change this out, actually that goes this way. You can tell by the way it's sanded. I sanded the top side a lot better than the bottom side. So it slips in. And like I said, if you ever wanted to change the layout, all you would need to do would be to replace this grid. You know, simple project of uh, some quarter-inch plywood. So then, um, let's see, what do I have here? In the long compartment here, I built this um, you know, this false bottom, I guess, or ledge to hold. What I was going to do was put the stuff underneath it, but uh, instead I'll put it in here first and uh, put my knife sharpening stuff on top of it. So that takes up some of that space and then you could, you know, down the road if you got something else, you, something else long you want to put in here, that can go underneath this stuff. Uh, <clears throat> on this end I got my trend stone, diamond stone that I used to flatten my water stones, which fit in these compartments here. Shapton stones, uh, they go here. My other Shapton with uh, a couple of ceramic stones go in that other compartment. Then in this compartment here, I put the stones in the other way. I've got a couple of uh, diamond stones. This is a thousand grit. And I just put that in there, put a spacer in there with this material. 300 grit, another spacer, my shaft and glass stone, which is 30,000 grit, spacer, 16,000 grit, and a spacer on top of that. So that's it. Uh, put the lid back on, and all my all my sharpening stones and, uh, and uh, diamond stones 
are all in one place. Now this thing does have a pretty good, pretty good uh, weight to it, and I do want to see how much that is. So I'm going to get my bathroom scale down here. I put put it on the scale and see what the combined weight of everything is. Yeah, here. you won't be able to read the scale, but let me just put it on here and see what she says. Thirty-one and a half pounds. Let me try it one more time, make sure I got an accurate weight. Yep. So nothing to be messed around with. It's you're gonna, when you're moving it, you're gonna you're gonna know you're moving something. So basically about thirty-two pounds of stones and and. Uh, plywood box. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.